This is Meet Your Maker, and our goal from day one was to reach Masters, and we finally make that happen. Get away from her, you bitch! Welcome, mates. I am Bloodthirsty Lord by Incoming Lordy, and in this video, we'll highlight our thoughts on Ranked as we grind to the final stage being Masters. This is gonna be fun, so bring a chalice and stay hydrated. So it seems like we're very, very close to this Master rank. Maybe around 50 points, 100 points should be easily done in one or two raids to say the least. And with our loadout, we have this build right here using the range custodian with the maxed out perks because why the hell not? And also this weapon here alongside arc barrier, hardware being spike drive and force barrier. This seems to be the best combo for getting those easy ranks really, really quickly by collecting the gem mat and escaping and also escaping potential kill boxes that we find on the way as well. This is a great combination. Also, mates, if you go towards these buffs over here, there's a couple buffs that are useful for base building. This is one over here, being prestiging your bases even quicker. So if you want to prestige bases quicker, you can. And also this buff over here, which gives you more of this actual currency in the top right corner, the third currency type. That is very useful for everything in the game. It's kind of mandatory, as you see from other currencies, being the gem mat and the parts being at 15,000 each. I don't use them. It's pretty much irrelevant to me now. But we go to this point here, there's a buffy that's 100% mandatory. Watchman level 3, you'll be able to get the exact length of the half the path, the exact number of guards and traps, and the two most used defenses as well in a base. And this is kind of cool. So when you go to this area here and go for a raid in the command center, you'll be able to go over this area here, this brutal base. I get to see the name, the base category type, what's going to give me towards my trading level, and alongside the map intel, which is that boost that I was talking about. Shows you the path. Sometimes this does bug out, but it does say it's a short path, so that's good. Total defenses are guard seven, traps 107. Top defenses are corrosive cubes and incin, which means this is a kill base, a kill box. So we go watch out for that one, dodge that, maybe go for another base being right up here. And it's another kill box, but you know what? We're going to a kill box no matter what, so let's just do the first one. <laughs> so jumping into it, there we go, we've got the base right here. I'm very interested in this, but I'm guessing it's a kill box from what I've seen. And this is our first match of today, so I'm going to be rusty as hell, to say the least. And kill box. The guards on top, we could use them potentially to help us out. Depending how they aggro. There we go. Nice. So what I do in these locations is try to destroy the traps from far. If I'm lucky enough. Now we stuff that up. Now charge this up. Go through. Break that. Cool, we pass through. Now the traps are active. I hear another trap. Oh my god. Oh my god, my luck. He put the actual pistons down below. I just barely survived that. That timing must have been impeccable because of the actual Harvey saving us there. So I use Harvey to actually deactivate pistons. It's a smart tactic. Many people don't use it. I highly suggest using that as a tactic. These cubes here. Potentially setting for a trap of some sort. I don't want to die there, so let's just skip that. Even there might be a secret tomb there, aka loot, which I love loot in this game. I will collect everything, but in that moment there, maybe not. So the long pathway, there's no actual visible areas of where traps could be here. So it could be just instant traps in corridors with pistons. We need to collect the gem man. That could be what it seems to be at the moment. Also, these actual areas here are very deceptive. They make you feel like there's going to be another level above because it's see-through. Okay, gem mat. Seems to be easy gem out room. Just depends on how we escape this. So I'm gonna go from here, have my spike drive ready just in case. Pick this up, charge this through, break this, continue down the path. Dodge the incin. As I said, there will be incin. Nice dodge. Have my force barrier up as well, just in case I need a switch. And also arc barrier as well. Just pass through this like it's nothing because in the day, kill boxes, majority of them are not well optimized and you can bypass them quite quickly and easily. Now this here, I thought there'll be traps somewhere activated through this, but not possible. So it wasn't the best use of a kill box, but it's still a kill box to say the least. Let's move, let's move. Oh my god. That would've been bad, that would've been bad. Perfect. Completed this base right over here. A kill box. What we're gonna encounter most likely all the time. Was that fun, brutal, and genius artistic? No, it wasn't. <laughs> I'm so over kill boxes, say at least. Zero deaths, there we go. Nice and easy. But if it's R there, do we get our rank right now? I think we do. There we go. From gold four to masters. There we go. 
And the rank up here, I believe you get an icon that showcases your number in the leaderboards. I believe so. But we got the master rank, finally, after 100 hours plus playing Meet Your Maker and enjoying the experience, we finally reached that master rank. Looking hella juicy. Love to see that, love to see that. Perfect. And that is the highest rank in the game. And we have a number, 1,388. So there's only 1,000 players or so in that rank being masters. That's kind of crazy. So let's jump into the next one, which highlights a short interval. It's a champion base as well. Guards 8, traps 60. The top two defenses are Plasma and Instant. I'm expecting to see cannon back, maybe Enforcers, flanking Warmongers, if possible, because you don't need too many numbers in that to make it I obviously have some pressure. And maybe corrosive cubes, but not a high amount with those traps being set up with the instant. We'll find out as we go, because it didn't seem like they used too many here. Should be quite interesting. You might want to be one of those bases when you just have to keep going through and then finding out little neat tricks as you bypass certain things. Don't see anything yet. Okay. This is what I do. Activate this. Pick this up. Dip. Dodge that. Nice. I put the whole choke point like it was nothing. Now we wait here for the refresh just in case there's more. I don't think there is though. I was right about the flanking. I was so right. I was so right. Wait, what happened there? The shots just went through him. Unbelievable. Okay, so we'll hammer set right about this base, having flanking warmongers. Because I do know that's a good strat for a base like this. And his timing was not the best, but it still worked out perfectly, I'd say. So we skip all this over here. Try to get to that same point. I'm going to do the exact same strat. We can wait for Harvey to get closer as well. So technically, that will stop one of the harvesters on the way, or one of the pistons. So I'm going to give it another 10 seconds. Roughly so. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and go. That was kind of not the best, but it should work out. There we go, nice. Now what we're going to do is put a force barrel here as protection. I was expecting to use it, but they took forever to get close to us. How many was that? Was it like 10 of them? It was like 10 of them. Any more? Nothing. Traps though. And we're safe. Nice and easy. Perfect. But I do see some benefits in the distance. And I need some of that objectives for ourselves. Right over here. Thank you, thank you. Loot is free. Keep that in mind. You don't lose anything. No one does. It just makes the game a lot more fun. And now we're going to escape from this part here. Go into the desert. The abyss. Or the great sands. And there we go. Survived. Very nice. We'll give that. The only reason why it's fun because I bypassed it. <laughs> it's a long chokehold. But that's when you see the benefit of that ability come into action. Let's evolve this. Perfect. Medium. It's another corrosive cube base. It seems like this is going to be the meta, unless things change drastically, because it's just too useful. It works really well. The only time it doesn't work really well is when players somehow don't know how to engage from the gym map point. So what a player does when interacting with the gym map, but also what the build does to counter that. And with your rank in this game, you don't want to die. Dying will make you lose rank like crazy. There isn't a number that showcases it. But usually if you have zero deaths, you get 140 points to 200 points easily. And then after that, you start dying. Depending on your rank, you'll lose more points per death. And then it comes to a point when you reach negative points as well. Gosh, that nice. So you have to be very careful. Okay, let's destroy this. Maybe destroy that as well. Should we destroy the one in the distance too? I think so. Now, from here, I want to time this. They have different timings. One's got blockade. I think we're safe here. That's how you make the play. That is how you make the play. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to clear some of these traps for after. Her own sanity. Nice. Very, very good. This point here. Something activated. Oh, must have been one of the traps activating. Or one of them have burning hot on the piston. Double checking each location. We've got the gem at right over here. Will anything turn? Nothing turned. Something did spawn though. I saw it spawn. There we go. Keep going through, nice and safe. This point here, we just have to bypass that choke point, which means there might be a flame trap over there now on a reverse with invisible. So through a second wave. So we'll find it now. Let's try to bypass this. And it looks like we're safe. 
Looks like that was very easy. And that's how you bypass a kill box. Give me, give me, give me all that loot, all those points. Now we're getting 100 points per victory. So it looks like it's decreased by a lot. But obviously, the more wins you have, the higher you go in the rank on the leaderboards for the masters and get to that potential one position. Let's try going to this map over here. So we've got medium as the harvester path, guards 13, 31 traps, crescent cubes, and warmongers. We know there's gonna be some type of setup here. It could be self-destruct setup on warmongers or flanking warmongers as we push through. And on second wave return or killing a guard on the way, they'll activate. I feel like that might be the play. Let's find out. Looks interesting. Let's see where Harvey went. Wait, did you go down here straight away? I think he went down here. Tight corridors, well optimized. Hard skin. Okay. That's very interesting. Hard skin is usually used for certain things, but I'm guessing he's redirecting the flames. Bottom part. As quickly as possible. Now, problem here is double check what the hell's going on here. Yeah, I don't want to go there. Not yet. Okay. So, this is a very interesting base already. We'll destroy these. And then, what I'm going to do is going to go for hard left there and see what happens. Nice. Made it through a checkpoint. I want to clear this. Headshot at him. Nice. And we have the gem mat. That might be a grenade trap, which activates, and something here is going to distract us. It is not. Okay. Very interesting. Oh, I knew self destruct. I knew it. I knew it. I had a feeling. Where'd you come from? Wait, where'd that guy come from? Oh. Wait, what's from there? Yep, from there. Had to be. That was not eight warmongers, though. Maybe six? There might be two more. Which I can just time them out by waiting here. There we go. Found them. Move. There you go. Grenades activated. Dodge that. It was above us. It's all right. As long as you're able to move and dodge them, you're pretty good. There's a tomb up here, too. That is a warmonger. I'm going to try to drag it. It's kind of disorientating through hard skin to see the warmongers. Got it? Nice. Now, from this point here, I'm going to get all those rewards here. Destroy this. That might activate too. I see the flickering on the actual mesh. Or maybe I'm just tripping out. I'm going to move. They can shoot through that, I believe. Even if it's hard and skin. I don't want to test it, so wait, maybe test it. Maybe not. Dodge that. Nice. Very interesting base because hardened skin is not really used because if you touch it, you don't take any damage from this. It's literally just a way to bounce projectiles, I believe. So it's worked really well with grenade traps and cannonback. Oh shit, I'm out of bullets. No! I wasn't paying attention. This is a mistake. If there's a spy trap there, I'm pretty much dead. I'll block this. I don't know where he's shooting me from. I see him. Very, very nice. Destroying those base with ease and having a lot of fun while doing it. There we go. Next completion. Escaped. Well done. So I believe it's 100 points flat. I feel like it will be the case. Uh, I'm going to give that fun. There wasn't anything new for me to see like it's ingenious. And the mechanics... Oh, it's 200 points. Wait a minute. Why is it 200 points? Did I die the other one when I got 100 points? That could have been the case, but I don't think I did die. But that was us achieving the rank of Masters. Yes, it's finally been done. It took 100 hours of grinding in Meet Your Maker, enjoying the experience and learning stuff on the way and showcasing the journey to you mates as well and having a lot of fun while doing it as well. But mates, tell me your pins of thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you enjoying Meet Your Maker and the content on the channel about the game? I'd love to know in the comment section down below. And as always mates, it's a pleasure to have you guys on the channel as we go through this and I'll catch you mates next time. Bye. Road to 200k subscribers. Let's get it mates.